Hi everybody. Millions of people are losing their jobs lately. Some of them just on hold and waiting at home, while others will have to look for another job. What about your employees? Are all of them still with you, or you have decided to cut your expenses and give them an extended unpaid vacation? The coronavirus will be an opportunity for many people to change their workplaces, even their careers when the sun will rise again, and it will. So if you already know how complicated it is to find and train good employees, make sure that you're doing everything needed to maintain and even increase your team members' loyalty and commitment now. We compose three tips that you might use with employees that are working regularly or almost regularly. One, keep them safe. Show them that you really care about their health and safety and they will take care of your business. Sanitize, supply them face masks and gloves and all that is needed to keep them out of danger. Recruit them to the mission. Don't take anything for granted and ask them for an extra effort. This is the time to minimize uncertainty by a clear set of expectations. People function much better when they know exactly what to do, how to do it, and why it is important, especially during uncertain times. By giving your employees missions and targets, you increase their sense of control over the situation. Be personal and stay calm. They have their families, their parents that they should be taken care of, and many other concerns. This is the time to encourage small talk, to have fun short breaks, send some jokes in your WhatsApp group, etc. Be their leader. Here are three ideas that you can use with employees that you had to send home for a while. One, communicate. Make sure that they understand the reasons and the constraints behind your decision. Update them with any relevant use. Ask about them and their families. Talk, and most of all, listen. Schedule short virtual team meetings. Give your employees the opportunity to take part in virtual meetings using tools like Zoom, Skype, etc. If possible, insist on their participation in these e-meetings. Dedicate some time in these online meetings for learning new products and sales techniques. Send them something small home. When you want to show exceptional gratitude, send them a small gift to their home. It could be a bouquet of flowers, a pizza to their children, or a bottle of wine for the weekend. Your team would appreciate these kind of gestures very much. The people that surround us need our leadership, our faith, and our belief. Let's give it to them. Let's be the leaders they need. Thank you for watching.